morning and welcome to Pangele Lodge. So this is about 150 kilometers outside of Cape Town, just outside the town of the Duins. And you stay in these little uh, thatched cabins. There's another one there and there's a few on that side. Beautiful, nice and rustic, beautiful LARP over there with this beautiful scenery I'm overlooking right now. So I originally found a spot just up the road called Tunnel Camp, which is the main reason I came here. Tunnel Camp, you, st you drive through the old abandoned railway tracks through the mountains here, drive through the tunnels to get to that campsite. But unfortunately that campsite does not exist anymore. But through research and networking, we found that this place's 4x4 route takes you there. So join me as we take on this 4x4 track and try and get to those tunnels to get some beautiful shots and just find some unique like, I don't know, tunnels. I've never driven through a tunnel, abandoned train tunnel before. So that's gonna be very cool. So come, let's go and go find those tunnels. We got a little lost, we're trying to find the tunnels, though there are train tunnels here, unused train tunnels, we're on an unused spoor lane now, um, but there are tunnels somewhere here and we got a bit lost, we ended up driving on the train track for a good while and then I had to do a turnaround in a riverbed, having some fun regardless, I had a washout I had to drive through, so yeah, it's complete exploring this, full on exploring, but this is what I live for, I love this stuff. And so we're gonna try and find the actual tunnels now. I think, I've, well, this is a dead end. We drove this road to this dead end. Now we're gonna try and head the other direction where I turned around. I've got a feeling it is up there. Uh, my gut feeling is telling me we should go that way. We're just keeping an eye on time. Time's getting low and it was quite a treacherous drive to get where we are now and to where we have to go. So we'll see if we can get there. Otherwise we do it tomorrow morning. But let's turn around, we've got like 20 minutes to drive back to that point where we turned around. Then we can head up the road further and see if we can find those tunnels before sunset arrives. So let's waste no more time and head that direction.
attempting to find the tunnels again this morning. Last night it was just too late to try and attempt this and I'm glad we didn't. Uh, so we're doing it this morning, trying to get to the tunnels again. We are, where's the car? There's the car over there. There's a nice deep ditch over here. It's doable, but it's going to be difficult. Um, definitely doable. Um, and then there's also Goodyear banners lying there for some reason. Uh, that's a very random discovery we found, so I'll load them onto the back and bring them back. I do know there's been an event through here, but also this being said, I think we're the first tyres to come through here in years. It's road closed, lots of washouts and things, but according to maps, the tunnels are over that mountain on that side over there. And this route is heading that direction. It might go around, but we're going to be driving forever on this little track and we're completely alone. So I don't want to drive myself into too much of a scenario. Just a bit further back, I did find a hole which I did not see. So I dropped into it. Luckily, it wasn't too deep. So we're going to try and backtrack to the dam we were at yesterday. That location we stopped at yesterday. And try and drive down because I know there's a road. I saw on Google Maps. There's a road that heads up towards the tunnels. So we're going to try and turn around in the bush here somewhere, try and turn around, head back, try that road. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to come back another weekend and try and drive up this road. But this is awesome. This is like complete bundu bashing, exploring, driving through the bushes, breaking like little bushes over to try and get through. Ruts like this has been washed out. Like I said, I don't think there's been a track through here in many years. So it's, I'm the first person to lay tracks down here again which is exactly why I have the bucky to do stuff like this. Yes, the paint's being scratched by the bushes. I have to be careful of my tires, these rocks, um, and not to get myself stuck being alone here. But yeah, awesome experience out in the middle of nowhere, bundu bashing our way through. So let's turn around. It's gonna be a bit of a drive back and see if we can get to those tunnels eventually. How cool is this? We just arrived at, this is a campsite, or used to be a campsite, uh, and this is what I was looking for. So behind me here, there you can see the little boma, there's a swimming pool, there's bra areas up there, it's all abandoned, all run to ruins now. And then there, where's the sign? There, there's a sign, the sign says tunnel. So this used to be, and the train track is like right here. So this used to be a stop camp for between, in the Hex River, the Hex River Valley, um, between the Durans and Toshafir and the next town so people could come here and use this as a stop over f and wait for the next train to come or I don't know something of that sort I don't know the history behind it um, but yeah we did go through the tunnel I will do show you some more footage on that but yeah look how cool this is like there's a whole boma here uh, there's the swimming pool over here shade with bright tree looks like there was a whole ground sheet and everything there Bry spots behind me here. This is so cool. It's so sad that it's just been abandoned. And it's such a beautiful view in place of this. Wow. This is a cool finding. This is what we came for. This is what we came to find. It is amazing. There's a hole in the ground. Let's see what's in the hole in the ground. Let's see what's in the hole in the ground. I think this was a sewage hole, a sewage thingy. But yeah, there's the tunnel sign over there. Train tracks. 
pool. Let me show you over here. Everything echoes. Massive bry. I mean, look how big the bry area is. You can put three, four bry's next to each other there. I think that was the ablutions up there. And then here in the shade is the, like, table and things. And there's another bri up there by that tree. There's another bri bit, I think there. There's some more stuff. This is so cool. We have found it. Look at that. There is the tunnel. Let me show you. There is the tunnel. We finally found it. I'm being attacked by a bush. Um, so I'm going to read you. There's a sign here. I'm going to read you from that sign a bit because I can't remember all of it. But basically, this is the oldest tunnel situated 35 kilometers between the Durans and the tunnel station. So the campsite we were at earlier is the tunnel station. And this was built in 1876. This tunnel was built. Well, there's another one just on the side of this mountain, like literally just on the other side, which is the train road tunnel. And then this was, I think this was either the service road tunnel or this was the very first train road tunnel. Because what they said in 1929, the track was diverted for a short distance for a second concrete line tunnel, which I think is that one, because the, it was larger locomotives they used. So I think this is the original tunnel, the, nine, the 1876 tunnel, and then the one next door is the 1929 tunnel. And then I don't think either of them, not either of them, neither of them, is used anymore. There is a train track, I don't know where it is, it's on the other that side or that side that is still being used, but all these train spurs are out of service. Um, but yeah, we found it. It's quite a long tunnel. You can see, can you see the background? There, the little white dot at the back, that's the exit. So it's quite a long tunnel to go through, but it is so cool. It is really insane. It's, I didn't know it existed. I saw one picture of it and now I'm here. I came to find it. I found it finally after a lot of exploring and got the pictures I wanted, the videos I wanted. So now we're gonna head back to base camp just say goodbye there and then the adventure comes to an end but first let me show you one thing now i'm in the tunnel but i want to show you something i don't know if this is going to work but i want you to hear how it sounds when you close a door how it echoes so let's see closing door wow the sound just like echoes down into the tunnel it's so cool and we have finished our exploration mission we are now heading back home. We are driving through the Duins as we speak. And yeah, we found the tunnels. It was successful. Uh, it was on the completely, like I said, it was on the other side of the mountain of where we were. So we had to backtrack and then we found it. But it was super cool. Just the history in that area, inside those tunnels are so cool. Like I said on that video, the first tunnel was built in 1876 and the second one in 1929. So, and the, I mean, most of it's still standing there. The swimming pool must be from that time as well and the, the whole campsite must be from that time but yeah it was really cool to see and really awesome place the accommodation it is rustic but it is very nice the larp are there is beautiful the views from up top there is insanely beautiful and then the first section we were on was the 4x4 route but like i said i think we were one of the first tracks on there in a long time so it has been overgrown there's been a lot of rain that caused washouts but that was made it fun for me at least is exploring having to uh, go over some bushes to try and make a track drive around uh, the holes or through them which was really fun so i don't know how much further that 4x4 track goes it did go up into the valley much more and there was another route to the right and there were a few splits going off of the track so one i'll definitely come back and go explore that area uh, the owners, Craig and Linda, well not the owners, but they are taking care of the new management of the facility. So they recently take, took over the, the lodge, mountain lodge. So they are busy renewing and redoing everything. It's, they actually interesting, very interesting people. They've traveled with their Ford Transit van for five, six years. They've traveled South Africa and now they've been um, staying there for a while to take over the management, to restore the place. So they're planning to do a lot of more upgrades to the accommodation. The 4x4 routes, they want to like clean up a little, not clean up, but just make it uh, drivable, market correctly. There's mountain biking, hiking trails they're working on. They're working on overlanding camp spots, uh, wild camp spots, I mean, and over and just normal camp spots as well. So that place has lots of potential and I'm interested to see how well they're going to be able to convert it. Um, but it was awesome to find or to be one of the first people to have put spurs down there uh, in a long time. 
So yeah, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and then I will plan some trips there soon and keep you guys updated on the progress there. I'll definitely be back there again. Cool. Cheers.